Hi everybody, this is Belinda Allen coming at you with a tiny tip. Here I am in Power BI and I have a customer report pulled up. And one of the visuals is this card and the card shows me the customer balance for everything on the report. And if I select just one customer, it shows me that one customer balance. What I'd like to do is make this card visual become my report title as well. So I could save a little bit of space by doing that. I'm gonna first get rid of this report title. So I'll just simply select that visual and press the delete key. Now I'm gonna move this visual up. I'm gonna move that one down a bit and then I'm gonna stretch this one out. So this is where I wanna put my report title. I'm gonna do this by creating a DAX function to put in this visual. So let's go ahead and create our DAX function. So I'm just simply gonna click on new measure from the home tab. Okay, there's new measure and the DAX address bar formula bar appears. Let's call this report title. And I want it to say customer report dash balance semicolon space and then display the balance. So the static part, the part that's text, I'm gonna put in double quotes, a start double quote, quote, customer report dash balance semicolon or colon space and then ending parentheses. So that's encapsulated in double quotes. So that text is static, it's gonna stay that way. I'm just gonna put a space so you'll be able to see what I'm doing a little easier. I'll put the ampersand to concatenate and whatever I put here and whatever I put after will just become one big sentence. Now I wanna see the balance. So I'll type in the function for a measure, I'll sum up my customer balance, ending parentheses, and then I'll just simply put a checkbox there. Now I have this report title. I'm gonna select this card again and I'm gonna replace customer balance with this report title. And now you could see I have the report balance listed right there. Now, a couple things I don't like about it. One, it's centered and I really want it to be left aligned. I don't need this title any longer. That's kind of redundant. I need to change the background. And then I also don't have formatting for my numerical value. Let's handle the easy formatting stuff first. We'll go under format under visualizations. I'm going to go to the title. I have the title on. I'm going to turn the title off. And now that takes care of that. Let's go to the background, turn the background off. So now that stands out just a little bit better. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna be able to really center that. So I'm just gonna stretch it like this. So that's taken care of. Now, this looks a lot like a report title. I'm quite happy with that. Now I need to format this as a numerical, as a currency balance. If I come over to the customer balance over here on the right, I can see this is currently not formatted. So I'm gonna go ahead and format it as a currency and put two decimal places in. And it fixes it down here, but you notice it doesn't change it up here. To make an edit up here, I'm gonna to have to change the function itself. So let me go back to the function. I just click on report title. What I'm gonna do is format this expression sum and then the customer balance. So I'll start by putting in the command for format, start parens, IntelliSense tells me the values first and the value will be the sum and the customer balance. So then I'll put a comma and then I tell it how I wanna format it. I want it formatted like currency. So in double quotes, cause I'm turning this into text, I wanna see the dollar sign and I wanna see commas between each sets of three numbers. So I'll put in a pound sign for a number, comma, three more pounds, then a dot, and a zero, zero. And the zero, zero will force the decimal places to be two. Then I'll do an ending double quote, and then an ending parens, and that'll take care of the whole function. Let me commit that. And now you're gonna notice that the balance now displays accordingly. So I have made my report title also be a visual. And the cool thing is if I select Alta Manufacturing, it changes. If I come over here and I select 
let's say Paul, Salesman Paul's data, it updates. So it becomes interactive with the report and it makes life a lot easier when you're looking at data. Hope this helps.